Hi, it's Brittany with Left in Free Kitchen. Today I am going to talk to you about something that is so near and dear to my heart, and that is knowing where the food that you're eating came from. Not only knowing where it came from, but also knowing what's in that food. Where was it raised? Is it good for you? Is it bad for you? All of this is super important. It's not only a lifestyle choice that you have to make or can make, but it's also vital to your health. So that's why I'm talking to you about this subject today. It's really important to know where the food you came, you're eating came from, um, as well as what is in that food, because whatever that plant or um, bag of chips or piece of meat absorbed throughout its life, it's going to be consumed and absorbed into your body once you eat it. So that's why it's just important to know if the romaine that you're eating, for example, is organic or not. Lettuce is one of those things that I always get as an organic fruit and vegetable. It's part of the dirty dozen. So that means that it absorbs all of those chemicals and things around it much easier than, for example, a citrus or something that is much more hardy um, that isn't going to be absorbing those chemicals. So that's one thing. It's good to know if your produce is organic or not, but it's also good to just be knowledgeable and aware about possibly what fruits and vegetables absorb those chemicals more or less so one of my fallbacks if it's maybe too expensive or costly or maybe just not as important to you to buy all organic fruits and vegetables it can definitely get pricey and be time consuming I always fall back to the dirty dozen and the clean 15 list it's super easy just to memorize 12 or 15 fruits and vegetables that you know um, you should always either buy organic because they do absorb chemicals and such easier or ones that you don't have to because maybe they're much more hardy like citrus or an avocado for example or even bananas you don't have to buy those organic either um, so just really good to know where your food came from what it absorbed same goes with protein a lot of that also goes for the very popular healthy snacks that many people buy from grocery stores there are so many things out there that uh, pronounce themselves as healthy or good for your heart or good for your cholesterol, but really they're just full of whole grains or corn syrup and things that you don't actually want in your body. So let's all just uh, dive a little bit deeper into the food that we're buying and eating. That way we can all be healthier for it. We love dropping tips here. If there's something in particular that you would love for us to film a video on, please let us know in the comments. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and lectinfreekitchen.com. Thank you so much.